Yeah, I think Ten Hag has, has done really well since he he came in last season, and um, and you can see he's trying to to create a, a squad and the mentality with the signings he made last season, and also um, again what they're trying to do this year. And I think Marcus Rashford is a incredible talent. Um, I'm delighted he's, he's signed a new deal, and um, I think the next five years um, for him is, is going to be real um, important in. Um, his legacy, if you like, um, because he, he can score a lot of goals. Um, but if he really wants to go to that level, which you know Mbappe and and Haaland are, I think he has to be the man to to, to get Manchester United back to to winning trophies and, and and league titles. And I hope he can do that. No, I think I think Manchester City have, have certainly um, raised everything. It, I think, and you look at Liverpool for a couple of seasons, we're, we're really challenging them, and um, I think they've, they've put a set of challenge for for Manchester United, for Arsenal, for Chelsea, for Liverpool, and for all the teams really. And um, I think Guardiola has been, for me, one of the best things which has happened to English football, not just um, um, not just in terms of the league but in terms of actually the English national team because I think the the coaching he's given some of the young English players um, before with Sterling, John Stones, Kyle Walker um, has really helped them develop as players and, and then I know they were senior players in England set up to, to pass that knowledge on to some of the other players as well so um, yeah there's a challenge there I think it goes in cycles we've seen it you know throughout the, the years with Manchester United, Arsenal having dominance, Chelsea having dominance um, unfortunately, it, it's Manchester City's time, and um, but I'm sure the the teams who are going to be challenging will come back um, over the next few years. That's for sure.